Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi here in St. Petersburg, Florida, in front of WTSP. I'm going to show you a couple things here. These barricades, they're not here for decoration. We're in a mandatory evacuation zone, and we're actually going to leave the studio later on site because of the storm surge that could get up as high as 10 feet where we're standing right now. So where we're standing right now could be under 10 feet worth of water by the time we get to Thursday morning. But as I mentioned, we're gonna evacuate to an inland studio later on today. As far as the storm itself is concerned, a lot of variation on that track. If this thing goes a little further south here, that would mean a worst case scenario for places like Sarasota and Bradenton, but perhaps spare us a bit of the worst here in St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay and the immediate Tampa Bay area. Now, the Gulf of Mexico, or I should say the Tampa Bay, is actually about half a mile in that direction and where we're sitting right now, where we are right now, that could uh, push some of that water inland here. And as I mentioned, there's a current forecast for about five to 10 feet worth of storm surge later on today. The other big concern with this storm though here, folks, maybe something that's being a little overlooked. We've talked about the wind, we've talked about the storm surge, but we're also expecting 15 to 20 inches worth of rain. That's about half of the annual average rainfall for where we're standing right now for the Tampa St. Petersburg area. So a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and perhaps a lot of storm surge. Still some variation on the track to go. Still a lot of questions about exactly where Hurricane Ian is going to go. But no matter what, we're taking it safe here. And again, we're going to move to our inland studio reporting from St. Petersburg, Florida. Meteorologist Chris Bianchi.